I'm manifesting that by the end of this video, I can legally change my last name to Campbell and Rihanna becomes my Fenty godmother. So Halloween is coming up, right? And Halloween is a time, you know, to dress up as something you can't be in everyday life. And for me, that's being a genuinely happy person. But I feel like a more realistic goal was to try and become a model. Like, I've always wanted to be a model growing up, but the only thing stopping me was the fact that I look like a sewer rat. But ever since I found out that beauty was a social construct, yes, you are beautiful. Don't let Chad from Chem tell you otherwise. I felt like, well, damn, if Cindy Crawford can be a model, I feel like I can be one too. You see the resemblance? So that's what we're gonna be doing today. So let's get started on some research. Previously on America's Next Top Model, I scoured the nation and brought 31 top models to Hollywood. So I've conducted a lot of my research. I kind of have an idea of how I want to get started in terms of like being a beginner model. And I found out that you need like two basic techniques. You need to know how to take some good ass photos and you need to know how to walk a runway. That being said, I'm gonna try and master those two things. And by the end of the video, let's still see if Naomi Campbell is labeled the world's greatest supermodel because she might have some competition. So one of the very basics in modeling is knowing how to work the camera. Y'all are sick! So I learned that why you need to know how to take good photos before entering the modeling industry is so important is because the very first thing that agencies ask you to do is to send in some photos of yourself. Okay, so I just finished taking pretty much all of the pictures and I didn't see a lot of them because somebody else was taking them for me, but... Let's check them out. I'm nervous because if these don't turn out looking good and these are just the basic ones, we can all only go downhill from here, so. Oh! I look like a Lego character. Why am I built like that? I'm built like Steve from Minecraft. I look like the Robert Pattinson meme. <gasps> so I just finished the model-esque photo portion of the video and let's just say it was a big fail. So we're gonna move on to the runway walk portion of this video after seeing that atrocity of a photo shoot. Okay. So this is the pathway that I'm gonna be using because it's the longest one that I can use right now. The first shoes that I'm gonna be wearing are these ones. Let's go. So we're gonna change my shoes to these ones. These ones are kind of, they're way flatter. I haven't done this much cardio since the pacer test in high school. Ugh. Okay, so I'm finally done attempting to master those two basic techniques of modeling. And I, I wouldn't say that I mastered it. So I wanna get an outside opinion by like the most judgmental people I know. And that's my friend, so we're gonna call them. Okay, so from the pictures and videos that I just sent you, do you think that I actually look like I can become a model? Oh, right, those pictures. Um, were you serious in them? Like, was that a joke? Or... No. Oh. Um, well, in that case, uh, yeah, it, it, was a, it was a good try, but, um, Maybe never try it again. Okay, so I don't think I'm gonna call anybody else today, but I just wanted to end the video by saying modeling is way harder 
than I actually thought it was. It takes a lot of hard work, dedication, and sacrifice. Um, but I also learned that confidence is really a key factor in doing whatever you want to pursue, especially modeling. So if modeling is your passion, go for it. Don't let anything stop you. But if you think that I can become a model, make sure to comment down below. I would love to see you guys' opinions. Other than that, this is Brandon from CalTV Entertainment. Thanks for watching.